Good afternoon, and, and this is a celebration. It is a celebration of great teaching. We're delighted to be here on an, on an afternoon. Look, we've got the door open and a fan <laughs> over here. The sun is shining, it's almost 70 degrees, and today, as you know, we are making up this event, which was snowed out on February the 17th. So we're delighted to be here. We even have the right day, April the 1st, on the uh, golden apple, and no, it is not an April Fool's joke. The Excel Award was created in 1989 by a partnership of people that felt that public school teachers do not get enough recognition. And in the past 25 years, WHAS TV and our partners, LG and AKU, have tried to change that perception. We will tonight use the power of our television station and our internet site to bring the story of an outstanding school teacher to the public view. The Excel Award is presented for excellence in classroom teaching and in educational leadership. And Amanda Shaw excels in both areas. She is a first grade teacher and more. As the demonstration site teacher, she sets the standard for other first grade teachers in the school and in the district. First, she is paired for half of the day with some of the students who have the greatest needs. And for the rest of the day, she coaches other teachers and she intervenes with students who need special help. So at Atkinson, she is changing the lives of you students, helping her colleagues become better teachers, and therefore spreading her influence to their students as well. And this school is truly blessed truly blessed because this great teacher is loyal to your school and this school district despite the fact that she drives an hour from her home in Elizabethtown every day just to teach and just to be here with you. Clearly, now, you can imagine, and I'm about to give the Excel Award in the Elizabethtown Independent School District next week, but a great system like E-Town would love to have Mrs. Shaw. But she is devoted to you, devoted to Atkinson and to the students here. And she will continue to make a difference in Jefferson County. Amanda, thank you so much for your excellent and extra efforts to keep the sacred trust of teaching our first graders. Please come forward, Amanda Shaw. <laughs> Amanda, um, the apple has always been a symbol of uh, students' love and respect for a special teacher that they admire. I just want you to know that this apple expresses the love and respect of an entire community for all the good work that you've done here at Atkinson over the 16 years that you've been here and over the many years that you're going to put in in the future. We are so proud to be here and present this You Are an Excel Award winner, Amanda Shaw. And that's just half of the Excel Award. There's another more exciting half to be presented by our partners and sponsors, lg and EKU, the local power company. Company, Please welcome to present the second half of the Excel Award, Cheryl Williams. Cheryl? Thank you, Gary, and thank all of you for allowing me to be here today. It's truly a pleasure for me to come here to honor an exceptional teacher like Mrs. Shaw for the positive impact she's had on the lives of so many people, her students and her, uh, her peers. What better qualities can you want in a teacher than those that Mrs. Shaw possesses? She works hard to change the world for her students and to, make a, and to create an environment where her students want to learn. Those are some pretty impressive qualities. I think it's safe to say that Mrs. Shaw serves as a shining light for all of her students. And trust me, as someone who works for an electric utility, I know a little bit about shining lights. <laughs> I'm honored to be here today to recognize Mrs. Shaw. She certainly deserves this honor. Mrs. Shaw, to help you further your commitment to making learning relevant, engaging, and fun for your students, I'm thrilled today to present you with a check for $1,000.
While she can't take that check to the bank, she can take this one. So we'll give her this one too. Now please welcome the superintendent of the Jefferson County School System, Donna Hargens. Donna. I love this day and I love this award because it symbolizes the commitment of our teachers. So Jefferson County Public Schools is grateful to have the opportunity to recognize the importance of our educators. And I want to thank Cheryl from lg and EKU and Gary from WHAS 11 for helping us to honor great teachers like Amanda Shaw. Dr. Hensley is standing there with a, with a, a phone taking pictures. Dr. Hensley used to be the, the principal at Atkinson. He's now our chief academic officer and we're thrilled to have him in that role. But what he says, I pay particular attention to. And this is what Dr. Hensley says about Ms. Shaw. She's devoted to children and committed to making their lives better. She has raised achievement levels and is a trusted colleague that many other teachers turn to. She doesn't use flashy methods or trendy teaching techniques. Instead, she focuses on students and on results. Ms. Shaw exemplifies the ideals that the Excel Award is meant to celebrate. And as part of this process, two observers actually went into Ms. Shaw's classroom where she presented a language arts lesson. One of those observers gave her a perfect score. Wow. And both of them praised her for her classroom skills. They said she has a great relationship and excellent interaction with students. She is a supportive teacher, and she expects and encourages her students to achieve. She uses a variety of research-based instructional practices as well as a range of techniques to engage students and to assess their level of understanding. Ms. Shaw, on behalf of the Jefferson County Public School System, I want to congratulate you on winning the Excel Award. I want to thank you for your dedication to teaching and for everything that you do in this district. It is my honor to present to you the Superintendent's Medallion. And one of the great things about being the superintendent is I get to work with seven amazing board members. There is not one more amazing than the board member for District 1, who is our vice chair. And I've been here for four years. This board member has served in a leadership role every one of those years. So it's my honor to introduce to you uh, vice chair board member Diane Porter. Thank you, and it's so wonderful to be here today. And personally, I'm glad it's not February because we're ready to move on. <laughs> so this is good news and a wonderful day. I am honored to be the school board member for District 1. And it takes a lot of energy, and I'm good with that. But you know, I show up every day for the young people that are sitting out here in the audience because what we do for education is about the children. But what I know for sure is we can't do it by ourselves. So we certainly thank you for this recognition for our outstanding teacher. We thank the University of Louisville for always being here, it seems like always, at Atkinson Elementary. I want to recognize our area superintendent, Dr. Lynn Wheat, who's an important partner. JCTA is a partner. Working together, we achieve many great things. Today, we are here to recognize a wonderful teacher outstanding and we are very proud of that and I'm going to ask you to help me because there's a lady Dr. Maya Angelo that used to say people don't pay attention to what you do or what they what you say but they do remember how you made them feel so I'm going to ask all of my audience participants when I count to three to say wow because we want her to feel wow because we're very proud of her today so are you ready? One, two, three. Wow! wow. 
That's how we feel today, and we're very proud of you. It's my honor to present to you, on behalf of the Board of Education that says, Amanda Shaw, teacher, Atkinson Elementary, 2014-15, LGNEKUWHAS, Excel Award winner. It is my honor, Ms. Shaw. Representing the partnership between Atkinson Elementary and the University of Louisville, please welcome Dr. Ann Larson. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you this afternoon? Great. It's such a wonderful event to be here to recognize your outstanding teacher, Amanda Shaw. We bring congratulations from Dr. James Ramsey and the president, um, the president of the University of Louisville. We are so honored to be partners with Dr. Hargens, Dr. Hensley, Lynn Wheat, Principal Nutter, and J.B. Atkinson School. And we appreciate Ms. Porter's support of the work. We also appreciate WHAS and LG&E for sponsoring this prestigious award which has been given today to one of your beloved and very worthy teachers. We bring you um, best wishes for continued work, Ms. Shaw, in your um, work as an educator who touches lives and the future every day. The partnership that we have between the University of Louisville and J.B. Atkinson is one of the most important things we do in our college. And Ms. Shaw has been at the forefront of that work in helping us prepare teachers in helping uh, advance literacy and other learning initiatives of the district that's important to our university as well. So we wish you all the best, and again, congratulations, Ms. Shaw. Thank you so much. Now representing the Jefferson County uh, Teachers Association, please welcome the president of that organization, Brent McKim. Thank you, Gary, and thank you to lg and KU and to WHAS 11 for being uh, so dedicated to recognizing uh, our outstanding teachers in the area. We really appreciate that very much. Uh, I am the uh, president of the Jefferson County Teachers Association, and what that means is uh, in Louisville, we have a whole bunch of teachers teaching all over the city. We have almost uh, 6,000 or around 6,000 teachers that teach in the city here. And so they elect someone to represent them, and uh, I am fortunate to be that person that they elected. I am a teacher, and I'm elected by the other teachers to represent them. And one of the, the most wonderful things that I get to do uh, in that role is I get to come out to these Excel Awards and meet and recognize and celebrate the teachers across the district that are doing such amazing things. And you know, as I'm sitting here and looking out at all the students, I just, I can only imagine how proud you must be of Mrs. Shaw. Are you all proud of Mrs. Shaw? Yeah. I thought she just might be. And I thought also, geez, how proud they must be to be at a school like Atkinson with such great teachers. Are you all proud of your school, Atkinson? Yes! I thought you must be, because I know I would be too. It's a fantastic school, and you're so lucky to have teachers like Ms. Shaw, and I know you have lots of really great teachers, but she's really something special, and we want to recognize her today. And they say that one of the best compliments that you can get is when you get a compliment from a peer a peer is someone that does, that's like your age and does the same things you do. So uh, I'm here as a teacher on behalf of teachers to recognize a terrific teacher, Mrs. Shaw. And the way that we do that in our association is we have a schoolhouse award that we use to give to a fellow teacher to let that teacher know how proud we are of them and to thank them for being an example for us and to help us get better, and that's exactly what Ms. Shaw does. 
So on behalf of those 6,000 teachers all over Louisville, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate Amanda Shaw and present her with a Schoolhouse Award from the Jefferson County Teachers Association. Congratulations. <laughs> And now, presentations from Atkinson. Here's uh, once again your principal, Ms. Nutter. As we began to prepare for our celebration today, we thought, how can we most honor Ms. Shaw? Ms. Shaw has been an inspiration to many of us sitting in this room today. So we are going to begin by our boys choir, with our boys choir singing a presentation to Ms. Shaw about inspiration.
excellent job, fellas. I know you've been practicing for a long time to prepare for today. Let's give them one more round of applause. They did an excellent job today. So just when Ms. Shaw thought all the presentations were done, no, there's one more. The staff at JBA wanted to honor Amanda in a very special way. But before we give you your, your gift, we want to show you the impact that you have here at Atkinson. The Excel Award is all about honoring excellence and honoring teachers who make a difference not only in their own classroom, but throughout the school setting. Also, with inside JCPS, and for us as a signature partnership school with the University of Louisville, also for our university students. So today, as many of you know, I do not like to give these speeches. So this is going to be interactive so we're all involved. All right, JBA scholars, please go into learner's position. A picture is worth a thousand words. So we are going to set a picture of the impact that Ms. Shaw has had on our school community. So teachers, if you have been under Ms. Shaw as a student teacher, or have worked with Ms. Shaw as a mentor teacher, if Ms. Shaw was your K-TIP mentor, if she's been your team leader, if, she, if you have stopped in the hall and asked Ms. Shaw a question and she's given you that little piece of advice that really helped you out in your classroom, please raise your hand. Take a look around. Look at all the impact. Now, students, if your teacher is raising your hand, please raise your hand because the impact doesn't stop in those conversations or in the mentoring. It doesn't stop at your teacher's door. It makes it all the way to your desk. Ms. Shaw, take a look around and look at the impact that you have had, not only on our JBA community, but on JCPS as a whole. Let's give Ms. Shaw a huge round of applause. So your colleagues and our JBA family would like to present you with this gift from Pandora. <laughs> All right, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. First of all, I want to um, give another round of applause for Miss Diggs and the Boys Choir because they did an excellent job. <laughs> so, good afternoon. I'm so glad you guys have joined me. I want to begin by expressing my thanks for this prestigious award to LG&E, WHAS 11, Gary Rodemeyer, JCTA, and Superintendent Donna Hargens. I also want to thank my family, friends, and coworkers who have come today. I have been blessed to be surrounded by great support systems at home and work. Their love and support has enabled me to become the teacher I am today. So first, Mom, for always being an example to live up to, for listening to me vent after a bad day at work, for helping out with Natalie and Tanner, and for always offering to cut out my lamination. <laughs> Dad, for all your handiwork when something broke in my classroom, when I envisioned something I had to have built, and for keeping all my Hondas tuned up to make the long drive to and from school. My three brothers, thanks for all the times growing up when I made you play school. I really do think you've influenced my ability to read fluently. Thanks for always being willing to come talk to my students during career week. They love seeing you in your uniforms and getting to check out your trooper cars, sirens, and lights. My husband, Sean, thank you for putting up with my talking about school after hours my spending money for my classroom when we could have bought an autographed baseball, and for supporting my decisions to keep going back to school and learn more. Dr. Hensley, thank you for demonstrating tremendous leadership, sharing your wealth of knowledge about every research-based thing in education, teaching me how to make anchor charts with three colored markers, and your encouragement to help me further my career by obtaining my National Board certification. Ms. Nutter, thank you for allowing me to attend the PDs I just have to go to, for letting me try new and inventive strategies in my classroom and for believing in our school, our students, and our teachers. Atkinson teachers and staff, thank you for sharing my journey with me. I think we are the hardest working, most dedicated people who truly care about kids and go above and beyond for them each and every day. I love how we take responsibility for all kids and we make decisions on what's best for kids. So, why I became a teacher. Growing up, I knew I wanted to, what I wanted to do, teach. 
I was destined to follow in the footsteps of my grandmother, Mrs. Trent, and my mother, Mrs. Johnson, both first grade teachers. I grew up in both of their classrooms, getting to school early before anyone else, seems I still do that, helping grade papers with red pens, cutting out lamination, and stapling up bulletin boards. While earning my degree in college from U of L, I was a nanny, I worked at a daycare, and was even a substitute teacher. All of these jobs confirmed my belief that I was on the right career path. While student teaching, I had the opportunity to learn from three master teachers, Jan Abrams and Tracy Kelly at Greenwood Elementary, and Georgia Sinicki in Shelby County. After seeing them in action, I was wowed and realized how important a teacher's role in the life of a child really is. I knew this is what I wanted to do. Teaching is not a nine to four job. Only educators who have been in this profession really can understand that when the bell rings at the end of the day, even though your day is technically over, it's not really over. You reflect on how your day went, what you can do tomorrow, what materials you have to get ready, emails you have to respond to, phone calls to parents, etc. A teacher is not just a person who teaches reading, writing, math, science, and social studies. A teacher is a nurse when someone falls down and needs a Band-Aid. A teacher is a counselor when someone is upset or worried about something going on at home. A teacher is a role model, modeling respect, trust, and responsibility in a professional manner. A teacher is a cheerleader, someone who cheers on all her students cheering them on to do their best, and celebrating when they achieve their goals. Teachers also wear many other hats, but I don't have enough time today to explain them all. Just know, teaching is the hardest, most challenging job I know. However, it is also the most rewarding. I love my job because I get to come to school each morning and be greeted by the smiling faces that are counting on me, counting on me to be their leader. I know that I am making a difference in the lives of these children. I am enabling them to develop skills that will prepare them to be successful students and continue on to become successful adults. It is very rewarding to see each child learn. It makes me smile when I see kids making connections to material we just learned. It gives me goosebumps when students talk about their favorite book. It warms my heart when students sit down next to me and really read a book out loud all by themselves. So along 16 years ago. I entered these doors at Atkinson Elementary and began teaching kindergarten. I was brand new and I had a hefty agenda to uphold. Looking back now, knowing all I know, I wonder how I ever survived. It took hard work, resiliency, and teamwork to get to where I am today. The hard work has been many, 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 many hours of professional development, lesson planning, creating assessments, collecting data, and working on little or no sleep. The resiliency has been reflecting on lessons gone wrong and trying them again, being flexible with time, materials, and schedules, like rescheduling things due to snow blizzards, coming into work when I would much rather have stayed at home in my warm bed. The teamwork has been working with all of the awesome teachers here at Atkinson. There is definitely no I in team. Our doors are open for each other and we do put kids first. No matter what question or problem I had, there was always someone willing to help me find the answer or solution. I have remained at Atkinson for my entire professional career. I have accepted the challenge to work with students who need me. I have dedicated my time towards finding each student's strengths and building upon them. Atkinson has afforded me many opportunities to further my own professional learning. I have completed the Kentucky Reading Project, obtained my National Board Certification, and currently am participating in the JCPS Literacy Project. I have been able to mentor teacher candidates from the University of Louisville and learn new best practices from them. The teaching never ends. So Atkinson scholars, I want you to know that I have lived the success equation. Hard work plus resiliency plus teamwork does equal success. Every single teacher and I here at Atkinson believe in each one of you. We know that you can and will succeed. You are in the best place to start your journey to where you want to be. So begin thinking of who you want to be and how hard work will get you there. In conclusion, I am so proud of our school and the great strides we are continuing to make because of all of our hard work. I want to accept this award on behalf of all the inspirational teachers that have taught here at Atkinson, teach here now, and who will continue the journey with me moving Atkinson in the right direction, upward to success. Thank you.
So JBA scholars, one last time on the count of three, let's say wow. So we leave the ceremony today. Miss Shaw knows exactly how we feel about her. Are we ready? One, two, three. Wow!